I was frustrated with Christmas. We worked so hard to put all the decorations up and shop from one store to another for bargains, wrapped it all up, spent hours and hours and all the money we had and some we didn't have. And uh, then as soon as Christmas is over, you tore the wrapping up, threw it away, burned the Christmas tree and it was all over and you took your vacuum out and cleaned the rug and you were just so glad it was all over. And one year, I told my wife, this is not right. There's something wrong about Christmas. I shouldn't feel frustrated about it. We're missing something. And that's when the Lord gave me the idea to uh, take Christmas money. And so I sat down with my family, had four children, two of them very small. And uh, the older ones were, uh, one was in their early teens and the other was younger. And I said, no, we want to put some of our Christmas money that we would receive in the Christmas uh, in, in a missions fund and give it to the missionaries. And uh, my wife said, well, you can have mine. And I said, well, they can have mine. And my two older kids said, well, we'll give half of ours. So that's what we did. And I told the church about it. I thought this is too good to keep. And they picked up on it. And so I promoted it. And that year we had a thousand dollars from this small church and it was a sacrificial offering. And one other church heard about it over in Racine and they did the same thing. And then we started that every year. And my wife and I uh, have never bought each other a gift since. Because when we build churches in North America, we actually uh, bless the churches all over the world. Because out of these churches come your foreign missionaries also. Christmas really became meaningful in my life when I put Jesus in it. For years, we had programs about him and plays. We sang songs about him, but we really gave him nothing at Christmas time. But when God dealt with me about putting money in the work of God because of Jesus' birthday. It brought a great blessing in my life. And the first Christmas we did that, when we opened the gifts, there weren't many gifts, but the presence of God was so real. My wife and I began to weep in the presence of God. That's a very precious place to be. And people don't deliberately do it, but they ignore him. And one of the greatest things that people can contribute to is starting churches, funding missionaries, funding the causes to reach North America through all kinds of avenues and outreaches. Christmas for Christ is an offering received by churches all across North America. Its purpose is to assist church planners fulfill Christ's mission. This Christmas season, join with many others and give your greatest gift to Christ, for His mission truly is our mission.